A hero can come in many shapes and sizes, and for Anthem teenager Tyler Hosley, his heroism can be measured by the impact he has had on his family and friends. The young man found himself in a desperate battle for his life, but through it all, he stayed positive, and he vowed to inspire others to do whatever it takes to overcome their difficulties. And it was through that spirit, and it had a profound impact on the life of a former Arizona Diamondbacks player. Gail Jansen has their story. I got a frisbee. <laughs> Most sons want to grow up to be like their father. Chris Halsey strives to be just like his son. To do whatever it takes ourselves to be like him and to, to uh, overcome your challenges like he did. Tyler Halsey, a happy, gifted child with diverse interests. He loves sports. Uh, he loved to uh, play baseball, play piano, play football. A decision to buy Diamondback season tickets in 2006 brought the tight-knit Halsey family even closer together. And it turned into so much more than just being fun. Um, it was time together for a number of years that really bonded us as a family. Life threw the Halseys a curveball in 2012. After a possible concussion and then a choking incident, Tyler wasn't himself. The sparkle in his eye wasn't there. He was losing his balance. Nothing could have prepared them for the diagnosis at Phoenix Children's Hospital. An inoperable tumor on his brain stem. Just terrified. All of us were in you know, tears and crying and um, not understanding. Uh, am I going to die? You know, he asked us that, you know, asked me that right away. Am I going to die? After his diagnosis, Tyler sent a message to Diamondback's utility man, Willie Bloomquist, who just gotten a Twitter account. And I'm the last person to expect me to have a Twitter account, but um, I got talked into it by a, by a sponsorship uh, company that works with me. Bloomquist quickly called Tyler in the hospital and then visited him the next day. You know, entertaining everybody and making everybody, you know, have a good time and, and really brightening Tyler's day. Initial shock and fear was followed by a steely determination. And he promised me he'd fight as hard as he can. And then he said, I, that's when he first said, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes, Dad. Chris created a Whatever It Takes Facebook page, printed T-shirts, made wristbands. People rallied around Tyler, including the Diamondbacks. For a year, his tumor didn't grow. However, in early 2014, they got devastating news. It was growing again, and he cried. And I'll never forget his doctor just you know, slid up next to him and put his hand on his knee and then wiped a few tears from his eyes and you know, told him we're never gonna give up. Tyler loved to write and journaled often. When I was first in the, hosp in the hospital, former D-back Willie Bloom was called to check. And that's the last thing he ever wrote. It hurts like a ton of bricks, you know, knowing that that was the last thing he said was about me. Um, I don't feel deserving of that. Towards the end, when he couldn't move anything on his body, couldn't talk, he couldn't swallow, he couldn't move. But when he would wake up in the morning, his eyes were wide open and they were smiling. And that was enough to just give you everything you needed to get through the day. Tyler passed away on July 13th, 2014. He was 15. Chris Halsey has kept writing Facebook posts. They are honest and raw. I am different now than I was before my Superman got cancer and even more different since he passed. He changed me. He changed the way I look at life. So I'll have my bad days and I'll look down on my wrist and I'll see his wristband and I think, what would he be thinking of me right now? You know, he wouldn't, he never felt sorry for himself. And so, you know, you kind of just swallow it and keep walking, you know, you keep going. Gail Jansen, Fox 10 News. Chris Halsey tells us only 4% of cancer research dollars are spent on pediatric cancer research. In the past 20 years, only two new drugs have been developed to combat cancer in children.